Hi everyone, the Youngstown Phantoms play 30 home games over a six month span every season. And while that's a big part of the Cavelli Center schedule, they're not the only show in town that needs that arena floor, which means the ice will come and go several times a year, including at a record pace this past weekend. Josh Forketic joins us live with more on the crew that makes it happen. Josh. Yeah, if you were here over the weekend, it looks like an entire different building. About three or four times a year, the Cavelli Center must melt down the ice for some big acts like the rodeo this past weekend. But the difference this time is that the turnaround was the quickest they've ever had to deal with to get 300 tons of dirt out and an ice back in by everyone from ice crew members to ushers to even parking attendants. From rodeo to rink, the Cavelli Center ice crew had a task unlike any they have done before, Wild West to Arctic Tundra in about 72 hours. We've always had at least a week in between, so this is like surprise. We have guys that have been here, you know, going on 20 hours. On Sunday evening, the actual ice making process began with water. A lot of it, in all over 10,000 gallons of water are used to make the fresh sheet. After the base layer of water freezes, the crew mixes together more water in a white powder and apply that layer by layer to give the ice its color. It's pretty neat though. People don't realize it's water. I mean, I've had people ask how you do it. Water, paint, and patience. Yeah, I've had conversations with quite a few people, and they look at me like I'm stupid when I'm done telling them how we do it. After the white is down, it's time for the more creative part of the process. On hands and knees, the crew paints each line by hand. A lot of pride out there. Everything that someone paints, they all put their initials on it. It's something that I, you know, we started years ago. It takes a toll on your body. But I mean, everybody in this building loves what we do. Most of the ice crew has been together since the Cavelli Center opened in 2005, and they tell me that every new sheet of ice they do, they get closer to one another. You form a relationship. I mean, you go to each other's children's birthday parties. You go to parties at each other's house. You you come real close. I would I wouldn't do it without them. I won't do it without them. It's a team. So you know, we're in Youngstown doing the same thing. It's the same thing they do in Pittsburgh or Cleveland. I like to think we can do anything that those big arenas can in the same amount of time. Now the process didn't come without its problems on Sunday night while they were actually trying to lay that ice down. It was 49 degrees, so they lost a few hours there just trying to get the floor cold down. But the players tell me that the ice is in great shape for tonight's matchup. It's going to be the Phantoms and Flying Aces coming up at 7.05. I'll be here throughout the game. We'll have highlights for you coming up tonight at 10 and 11 o'clock. But for now, live at the Cavelli Center, I'm Josh Forketic, Sports Team 27.